you have a $2 bill, you're going to want to watch this video because we're going to break down the history and what you should do if you come across a $2 bill and how to maximize the value if you're trying to sell your little $2 bill. So not many people know this, but today you can still go to your local bank and get brand new $2 bills. That's right. All you have to do is go and politely ask if they have any brand new $2 bills available. They might have to order them. However, my local bank typically always has some sort of $2 bills in stock. Now, without going too deep down that rabbit hole, let's just hop into this video because this $2 bill right here, someone was able to turn it into 264 bucks. Now, let me tell you one of the most important things when it comes to the value of a $2 bill. That is going to be its condition. Now, that may seem obvious, but you'd be surprised what I've seen. So, if you come across a $2 bill like this, the first thing you should do is make sure that you don't fold it, don't damage it, don't tear it, because as you can see here, this one was graded by PCGIS at a 67 PPQ. That means this example has no folds on it whatsoever, but the big value difference here is going to be in that star at the end of the serial number. That means this is a replacement note. So when they're producing paper money, they're printed in giant sheets. Now sometimes these sheets have an error or there's some sort of printing malfunction that happens, which requires a quality control manager to destroy that sheet of paper money and produce a new sheet of bills. Now for bookkeeping purposes, what they do is they put a star at the end of the serial number and they make sure that they reproduce the same amount of bills that they destroyed. The reason for this, they need to know exactly how many bills were produced and they want to make sure that there are no employees stealing any paper money. So there's checks and balances everywhere. Now there are some star notes that are not rare. Let's say there were 200,000 star notes produced. That means there were 200,000 errors versus only a thousand star notes in a specific run. So some star notes can be rare, some can be not so rare. However, you should definitely hold on to any star notes you have because this example sold for 264 bucks. Now someone turned this 2003 $2 bill into 550 bucks and it's got two things going on with it. First of all, let's look at the bottom right hand side of the bill. You're going to see what's called a front plate position. That plate position lets the producer of these bills know where this specific bill was located on a printing sheet. It's the position on the sheet that it's in. Now before that plate position, sometimes you'll see an FW like on this example. That means this bill was produced at the Fort Worth, Texas facility. The only other facility that prints paper money in the U.S. is the Washington, D.C. facility. And you'll know if you have a Washington, D.C. banknote if you do not see an FW near the front plate number. Now, where a bill was produced can sometimes matter depending on certain situations, but it does not matter on this bill. What really matters here is the fact that you have a low serial number bill. You can see there's a bunch of zeros followed by a 94. Collectors love going after bills with rare serial numbers like this one. That's why this 2003 $2 bill sold for 550 bucks. This is a 100% genuine United States $2 bill. So before 1928, we had large size paper money. This is what collectors call a mini porthole note because it looks like George Washington right there is in a small porthole on a ship. You have two allegorical figures on either side of George Washington there, followed with some ornate designs around the bill. You've got the floral blue number two on the left hand side there. Just a very beautiful piece of the United States history. And remember, these are much larger than the paper money that you have right now in your purse or wallet. That's why they call these large size bills or sometimes horse blanket notes. As you can see at the bottom of the bill, it says silver certificate, meaning that the owner of this bill could bring it to a bank and exchange it for equal value of silver. So you could bring this $2 bill in, give it to them, and they would give you a piece of silver back in return. Such a cool concept that we wish they still did today. They also have gold certificates where you could do the same thing, but more on that in a different video. This example right here sold for 1320 bucks. Now really quick, look at the grade. It says 58. That means this bill has one fold on it somewhere on the bill. That could be in the corner or right down the center of the bill. Typically, you'll see them. Now here's the kicker. If this banknote did not have that fold, it would have graded 60 or higher. If it would have graded 60 or higher, it probably would have been worth at least $2,000. So that's why it's so important that if you find a bill like this, keep it as flat as possible. Keep it somewhere safe. If you don't have anywhere in the meantime, keep it in a book. Just do not forget about it. We've literally bought a book that was used and found rare paper money in it before. While that's very unique and rare, it does happen. So it's great to keep your bill safe, but just don't forget about it. Let's go to the next one. Here's another silver certificate. This one's from 1896. It's 100% genuine. Back in the day, you could spend it. It got the grade of a very fine 25. It's such a cool 
cool piece of history because this literally passed hundreds or thousands of people's hands before it became a collector's relic rather than a piece of paper money currency. This note comes from a series called the Educational Series, an extremely beautiful piece of the United States history. I'm so glad we have this one in here sharing with you guys today. This little $2 bill sold for $1,680. Now, if you have one like this, but it's in better grade, sometimes these can bring tens of thousands of dollars. 2000 bucks for this genuine, real 1953 $2 bill. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is there a red seal and serial numbers on this $2 bill? Well, that is because this is what we call a legal tender note. So technically, this is still legal tender. You could still bring it to a bank. You could bring it to a local shop and pay with it. However, we would recommend against that for a few reasons. One, it has much more collector value than its face value of two bucks. You wouldn't want to buy a few candy bars with this. And two, the person who's accepting the paper money might end up calling the cops on you. We've heard plenty of stories of people spending a rare bill only to be questioned by the clerk. And there have literally been stories of people getting the cops called on them. So that would be a bad, bad idea. The big factor here is that 69 PPQ grade, 70 is the perfect grade. Now it mainly comes down to the margins. So if you're going to grade your bill, there's a few things. One, depending on the type of bill, for example, the previous bill was completely beat up, but it was still worth getting graded. Now this one, if it was in the same condition as the previous note, it probably would not be worth getting graded. But the way you tell if you have a rare bill that's in good condition is by how many folds are on it and how well centered the bill is. Step one, no folds. So if there's no folds on it, that means you have an uncirculated bill. Then the next step is going to be the centering. So the margins or that white border around the bill, the more centered it is, front top to bottom, left to right, back top to bottom, left to right, the higher the grade is going to get. As you can see here, the centering, it looks very good all the way around. Now, if it was a little bit better, it would have gotten that 70 grade. This note probably would have been worth around four to $5,000 if it got that 70. However, 69 is very, very high and that's why it's over $2,000. By the way, look at the centering on this bill. So you can see the margins here are much worse than the previous example. And that's why this one got the 64 grade and not the 69 grade. So if this one was to have had better centering, it would have graded higher and sold for a lot more than $13,200. Back in the day, someone went to their bank, got $2 bills, and just so happened to come across this low serial number two star note. And that's like pretty much hitting the mother load. Now, if you get a serial number one, that is pretty much the holy grail when it comes to rare serial numbers. That's the one you want. If you come across it, you must contact a rare currency expert. You can go into a local coin shop, spend the time going to different places. What we would recommend is going to at least three different places to get their opinions to make sure you're not getting scammed. You can also join the Coin Value Club down below. Take a picture of your $2 bill, send it to me and my team. We'll evaluate it, tell you how much your $2 bill or any bill or coin is worth. That way you can do it from the comfort of your home. But this example right here sold for $13,200. $20,400. Now this is exactly what I'm talking about. This one got one grade higher. You can see the centering is not that good. If the centering was better, it would have brought more money. However, when the bill sells also is a big indicator of the value. Back in 2020, everyone thought that the collectible industry and market was going to crash. But actually, the opposite happened. We had some extremely high record sales that we had never seen before. So being well aware of when to sell your paper money can be just as important as knowing what to sell. Because if you sell at a market downturn, you could end up losing a lot of money or not getting the full value of your paper money. But this one is pretty simple. Once again, it's a serial number one. It's a high grade and that's why it sold for 20,400 bucks. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that notification bell and the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.